Come on, Marcus Cash, time with the February nineteenth, two thousand twenty uh, edition of the All Elite Recap. Um, I'm gonna say two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row, front to back, a fantastic show. Um, now it did start with the Battle Royal, which was fine. That's some nice spots in there. Uh, Orange Cassidy holding a trench. That was, I, I love that. If, they, if, they, <laughs> if they're gonna play off of the WWE Royal Rumble thing where if the, someone has like a funky way to not get eliminated, I don't mind that. Yes. There's different characters and different ways you can go about it, so I'm, I'm here for that. Yeah, they had Luchasaurus and um, Butcher having a slugfest. And no selling each other, which is fantastic because these are two people that shouldn't be selling. Quite Absolutely. Frankly. I felt like outside of their debut, this did the most for Butcher, uh, this match. I was scrolling, but with that. Uh, the Bucks has some good spots. Uh, my guy, fucking uh, Isaiah from Private Party. He, he, he fucking the screech back. He won the screech back. <laughs> um, they are really unutilized. It's kind of disturbing yeah. um, at this point. Um, so we got to be on the underlying reason why. They're too young, they're too green, they want to give other guys to shot first. Maybe the, the youth thing. Like they'll be around, they'll yeah. get their chance. You just wait around until we get to it. We gotta get these old fuckers out the way. Yeah. Um, and Let's obviously, see you put it that that uh that much into the match. Not not too horrible. So. Completely fine with great. But um and uh, I think we just had it lost it. Oh, they did a back break spot with um, Ortiz. It was a, it was a big spot. It was huge, like a big deal. I yeah. loved it. <laughs> yeah, Jared looked annoyed. But. I think they're gonna play up on that more. <laughs> yeah, this is like shh, and like it just ran into the camera. <laughs> yes, it worked though. Uh, I was disgusted by the Young Bucks, best friends, uh, Hugs Bug. I feel like the Bucks are continuing to infringe upon people who are high. Can I be blasphemous? Yeah. Can I be blasphemous? Go for it. I, I know our viewers are gonna hate this because, dude, it's all you can be 24 all you can be. Yeah, Bucks part of all league. The Young Bucks are the Triple H. The Triple H's? The Triple H's. The HH. That's it. Oh, the rest. I'm sorry. They're constantly infringing upon things to get heat themselves. Now, to me, it's only been a few months, so I'm not going to throw that on entirely just yet. He had quite a long run of doing this. But I'm saying. I'm just saying. Is that from a shoveling aspect, though? They're not burying anybody. They're not burying anybody. They're just fucking... Just to be clear. Yes. Vamping. But it's just like, hey, what's, what's going on over here? Oh, people like that? Right. I'll take some of that. But, well, they, they're marking out over the hug? Well, you got to give the people what they want. Uh, but the fans love it, so I guess I can't fucking... Uh, and by fans, they never accept me. You people mean. still like the flying Elvises in 2020, so that's... <laughs> anyway, uh, Matt Jackson? That's dark hair, right? Yeah. I believe so. Matt Jackson managed to uh, eliminate Ortiz, Santana, and Sammy Guevara, who was interfering, all by his lonesome, and get a tag title match. And, and, there was another participant in the match. Was it three on one? Yeah. I can't remember who it was. Oh. But it was gross. Three heels, two of them within your top faction, in the company. <laughs> yeah. And I got this myself. Then how are you not tag team champions before this? I assume, <laughs> I assume they're going to put the belts on because obviously Omega and fucking Hangman aren't exactly getting along these days. At least not perfectly. And they keep hitting each other in every match. The same spot. <laughs> Stop doing that now. Um, that flip close like Hangman does. Which looks bad, by the way. Yeah. Um, see, that was fine. I didn't hate it. Uh, I almost hated it. I hate the Bucks winning, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, what at least did a tag title be? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd rather see the uh, like discomfort between Omega oh, and Page. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather see that a little bit longer. Let's see the Bucks, the belts. Quite frankly, they don't need the belts. Just to be clear, they're main guys. So, so do Omega main, Hangman. so do main guy stuff and be in the background. Omega Hangman, right? Yeah, That's a tag team. They don't want to be a tag team. They're not a tag team. That makes it even more discomfort and funny. Um, I gotta be honest, I hate to start the show complaining. I just said I love the show. I'm a little bothered by Jeff Cobb's debut. 
the hired gun that loses in his first match. Cleanly at that, not because of disqualification or anything else. Well, to be fair, it was kind of like a, a flimsy, within the suplex spot, within fucking Mega Man, Austin gets his legs up last second. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, he rolled him up at the end, but still. So, yeah. Um, even for a hokey win, like, Kyle should be out here and he gets frustrated and he just, like, starts wailing on him with chairs or something. That wouldn't mind that DQ just fucking went all snapped. Um, but he looked good. Uh, Taz put him over big time. As an Excalibur. Taz is perfect to have on commentary for a Taz Rhino baby. <laughs> um, I didn't like um, him eating an EBT at the end of the brawl from Moxley. Honestly, Moxley can't lose this match. I but guess. still, like, come on. Yes. I wouldn't mind a video package on Jeff Cobb either. But you can bury him fuck the video package, I guess. It's over. Um, I'm a little concerned it's going to end up like. Well, he's not signed exclusively to AEW. Oh, okay. So, so working. Is he gonna be around? Not long term, unless they can sign him. Is he? That's not right. Is he gonna be around? Is he gonna be here next week? Uh, probably up to pay real like a month, something like that. He was treated like a big deal on the show. Treated like a big deal on last week's show. He got him pretty decent offense. Like that was a nice little moves that he had. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, that's what I saw. I think they can build on. Rebound. Just call it like a fluke or whatever synonym Jericho is going to use to describe it. Now listen, if he's going to go away after this for a few months or whatever, then I don't get that. Because you kind of big minds fade. Um, so that's cool. Um, you know what's not going to fade? What? That mold saw Cody Rhodes did off of the top of that fantastic looking cage on Wardlow. I'm about to be in the critical here because I don't mind Wardlow took his loss. First of all, you took it to that. You cooked that, you kicked that at the crossroads. You're welcome. Appreciate Cody. Appreciate Cody. And then Cody just goes nuts with the move. I liked it. Yeah. I loved that match. Yeah. And it's understated, and I'm probably going to flip flop my position on this, but okay. as of right now, sorry about that. As of right now, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed how quickly he scaled the cage and went right into a moonsault. I hated it watching it in the moment. Okay. Because I felt like he should have stood there. He should have stood there for a second. You know, gather himself and then do the moonsault. I'll let the camera catch up to you up there, right, and watch it. But I'm thinking about it today, and I'm like, no, this is all business. This is about wins and losses that right. don't matter because I can't challenge for the world title anyway. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's, it's about wins and losses. I'm going to scale this cage, and I'm going to die off immediately, clearly before Warlow's even ready, because he didn't even get hit. What's on the set? Warlow almost killed himself. <laughs> He's fucking... Yeah. Well, he could with the big ending basically because he called Wardle's right arm and that was about it. It still looks good though. She looks splendid. I think the fact that he almost missed and the thud that made because of it kind of made it work. Like, boom! Oh shit! Wardle's yeah. dead. Yeah, that's, that's Cody. That's uh, like, and Cody's so energized by the way. He scaled the cage immediately again. after that. He looks like a badass. I don't know how I feel about Arn Anderson being teased. He'll turn being teased. It wasn't teased, but fucking MJF seems to think it was possible. It Played out one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can excuse that away as MJF's theory that everybody will turn their back on Cody because Cody's so heinous. You know what? Fucking like that. She was like, you know you want to? You know you want to? Does you that, feel what I felt? Because <laughs> the next is going to be trying to turn Brady. Bring her back to heel because she wanted to play heel anyway. She just failed the first time. Oh, she's so, she didn't feel. They dropped the angle too soon after anybody says. And fucking Kong Kong Russell and what was the fucking ball guy's name? Well, uh, Luther. Of course, a ball guy, nobody cares about it's atrocious. Awkward. Uh, but speaking of things that almost killed my fucking uh, Nightmare Collective, Statlander! Who is fucking splendid. Why is she not the champ? Why is she not the women's champ? Why is she not the champ? Why is she not the women's champ? Because the women's champion. Fucking killed it on my goddamn it. Tony Schiavone really leaning into that women's. Uh, I said women's. You heard me say women's, right? Women's champion. I like Max Reed Shannon as that one. I love the boop. We've been on the boop since the beginning. We love the boop. Yeah. Um, they had a boop off. Which was ridiculous. You know, loved it. Awesome at the same time. Only thing we dropped the ball on is why did you not have Bryce Ramsberg as a referee for that match? Because he's awful. No, first off, second best referee they have. My country mile. Not even close. My country Not mile. even close. If they didn't have the fantastic Aubrey, best referee. 
He would be the second best referee if they had two referees. <laughs> this is preposterous. Um, he would have sold the hell out of that ball. The only thing they didn't, they didn't fucking whatever wrong, they didn't do well, and I don't think they should ever mention it again, is uh, Stan Leonard's backstory. Tell fucking Excalibur shut the fuck up. Just like she did. Alright, alright, alright. So she says she was <laughs> landing in the area of 51. Alright, alright, alright. This is interesting. That's what's in his hand. Enough of that. Uh, <laughs> That's what Jared just said. She <laughs> overall was over <laughs> Anyone ever cuts off Excalibur or shuts him up, I'm here for that. I love that. He stinks. Match is fantastic. <laughs> Jesus, you're mean. The match is fantastic. Um, Stamina's got some strength to her. She scoops shit up at the end. I don't know why she did it. Nothing, yeah. Just standing, I was like, oh shit, with that. Yeah, no, it's, uh, this is the part where I dump you on your head. <laughs> Almost literally. So here you go, and whack. <laughs> uh, I like the pose at the end. Kind of Undertaker-esque, but... You know, sexy and sultry a little bit also. She's got like the knee brought up over the arm and the, the, her hand on the knee and the other way and she's like kind of posing cat-like almost. It's, um, it's, it's hot. She's a woman. It is hot. All right. It's all right. All right. Um, all right. I think they can use that. They can lose the alien part of her nickname though. Just call the galaxy's greatest. It serves the same purpose and sounds a lot less hokey. I think she wants to keep the alien stuff. You can play on it. Don't. First of all, Galaxy's Greatest Alien is a long name, much less nickname. Agreed. So. Okay, so we just did rid of the alien. Yeah. We're not getting rid of the alien gimmick. We're getting rid of the alien. Yeah, keep the alien gimmick, gimmick and the Tron and we get rid of the booping right and all that. The Bring back, shut up. Stop saying it. Backstory, whatever. It's like, you'll, you'll do with who you want to do. The Galaxy's Greatest though, is a fantastic nickname. Just run with that. Uh, the Beast is kind of a awkward nickname. The Native name. Beast. Uh, all right. Native, Native, Native all American. Right. All right. All right. I don't think I'm going to press a fucking monk. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> I'm on a, a wrestling page on YouTube. There was like, now the world looks for a great heel. To which I interjected, you're, you're correct indeed. A great heel. So. This is, this is, this is silly. Now the world is a great we heel. We got it. We, how many times are going to say it? I got it. We get it. It's not particularly clever. Um, I thought it was. Heel. We can say it over and Heel. We got it. Heel. You know, say it to the lands. Like, she fucking did a fantastic fucking match last week. She had a fantastic fucking promo this week, which started out awkwardly. Bees buzzing. And then she yeah. rounded it out with Queen B. And then she's gonna break bitches. It just it's break, worked. To break bitches. She lines. damn near Jay Z in this bitch. She's just rolling. Man, that was fantastic. Like, you know what I'm doing? I'm hungry. First of all, I didn't know she had an accent. Hungry. Oh. <laughs> Because she's really from some sort of native island, like native mm-hmm. American islands or whatever the story is. I don't, I don't know specifically, so go ahead and comment away. But um, it's a very southern accent a little bit. You know what I do when I'm hungry? I break bitches. I'm like, I mean, first of all, that's not so hungry, but I like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like the stat line I just put the bass I, off. I eat bitches alive. You know? <laughs> I, I like big swole. I don't know if I like Big Swole, Stan Lander, and Nala Rose more than I like Nala Rose versus Stan Lander. Unless we're gonna do Nala Rose pins. I was gonna say someone to eat the fall. Yeah, and then we build up to Stan Lander versus. And, and Lander. Swole's a believable third participant in yes. that match because you can't have a dainty little girl with these two amazing athletes. Let me be clear as much as I hate Nala Rose. Yes. For some reason, but amazing she's an athlete. athlete. I don't think she'd be women's champion. I'm not with the women! That's not real! Nonetheless, amazing athlete. <sighs> Just to be clear. This was MMA. We'd be on the same page. It isn't. Right. The real sports feel at AEW. Have they even mentioned what she is? That she's transgender? Have they mentioned it on the show? They haven't. I haven't because I've been watching from the beginning and they haven't mentioned it once. So as far as everybody knows, she's just Nyla Rose, the what beast? Native beast. I hate that. I love the wording thing with the raspy voice. It's not even raspy. It's a little deep. Raspy, like fucking uh, okay, no. it's not raspy. I don't know if it's raspy. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Anyway, um, oh yeah, Angie Harmon. That's our raspy voice. Look it up. Uh, Big Boy Eat the Fall, believable powerhouse. Um, some people were making a thing about her calling Nyla Rose. Brother, it's clearly just how she talk if you actually paid attention to Big Swole speaking uh, on the podcast. 
Yeah, she the way she I've seen of her on the tours and the way she dresses. Yeah. I'm going to take a very big assumption she has no problem with Nyla Rose. In that way, at the very least. Yeah. She yeah. seems a little uh liberally, to be fair. Liberally. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that for a while. <laughs> liberally. Well, uh, what we didn't see was apparently uh, Go Baker. Yeah. Don Baker. Attack Shaman. Uh, that looked fantastic. Not sure about it's not on the show. I liked that they had her own commentary. Loved her own She brought Tony a latte from Starbucks. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say this and it's going to date me a little bit about how long ago I actually watched wrestling. On a consistent basis. Where Go Baker is right now, and I'm still calling her Go Baker, she reminds me of Christian. In early 2005, it was purely organic. People were kind of getting on this group, but nobody was behind her, behind her, behind him, just yet. I don't know any of those talking now, but look it up. I would kick Marky Mark's ass and take his WWE title, because that's how I rule. Early 2005. He came Not out. watching back. He cut a rap on Cena. He was talking about Batista and Triple H. It was just people just like fell in love with Christian for some reason. That's what Go Baker is right now. Yeah. I find the clip I'm in here. Yeah. But she, uh, she's yeah, fantastic. She, she's fantastic. She's so hard. Oh. Um, <laughs> her, the her and Tony thing might be one of the double top five, might be maybe top three things going in AEW right now. Yeah. yeah. As far as just things that work yeah. consistently. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, kind of hoping at least Tony would turn into the eel announcer because of, <laughs> because of Brett Baker and then she's so proud of him <laughs> for it. I'm here for uh, that. Uh, lastly, but not lastly. Actually, last thing mostly. One of the things a little bit better than Brett Baker. Almost <laughs> said, he said, yeehaw. Yeah. With tag team <laughs> champion Adam Hangman Page and Kenny... Chris oh, Asshole, oh my god. AKI yeah. uh, graphics. Oh <laughs> um, they took on the Lucha Bros. The match was splendid. Ray Phoenix is ridiculous. He's perfection. <laughs> that high knee guy on this. What this I don't know what the fuck it was. Not springboard, but he hurricane rotted off the outside of the apron. He did some shit. And he like, what, how'd you do that? <laughs> All that air time. Like, is there trampolines in the ring? I don't understand. How <laughs> fantastic this person. Uh, even uh, Tito. Theo Pentagon. Probably best swing blade on TV at the moment. His kicks were hidden. Omega's always just splendid. As great as everybody else is, he's just a little bit better. Um, that should be his nickname. A little bit better. <laughs> Kenny Omega. <laughs> I love the match. To me, that's a fantastic match. I don't necessarily love where it's going. I'm trying to put my own bias aside, um, Young Bucks wise, but they feel kind of. I'm from what's supposed to be on their side at the very least. I'm not gonna say uh, Hangman Hill. We're supposed to be on the Young Bucks side as far as them and Hangman. Because because Hangman's a dick. We're supposed to look at Hangman as a dick. Yeah. But to be fair, Hangman and Omega just won a really hard match. And he's trying to sell it with his partner, and then you come out and grab all of Omega. This is awkward. Yeah. And pull them away from Omega. Like, he's like, alright, fuck this. I, like, you know. Then Hangman leaves. They're always showing up in their moment. Yeah, it's because they feel so like they were a team. But we're not. Because I don't fuck with you, as Hangman said several times. Several times. <sighs> I wouldn't mind the Bucks taking the titles if, okay, let's say the the Flying Elvises both hit the super kick on Omega and Paige respectively, and then they stand there, look at each other, and decide we're gonna pin Hangman and not Omega. It will have to be twenty minutes hang match. They played pretty fast and lose with the rest. <laughs> the longest ten count of their life. I don't. You'll be honest. I do. So much time with that match. I love that idea. That's a pretty good idea. You want that on? Yeah. It's a pretty good fucking idea. It's a solid guy doing idea. Just pulled it out of my ass like thirty five seconds before I said it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind him and just being done with the match. Like, we're fish. That's their stickler. Should have done this. Yeah. 
Hangman's already said he's done, so we all just move on. Preferably Pac to fucking Omega. Like, why is Pac not a record show? No, he didn't miss. Um, we talked about it, but we didn't talk about him specifically. Darby Allen returned. Darby Allen returned. Saved the. Uh, John Moxley. Did he really say that? He took his sweet, <laughs> sweet time yes. to skate to the ring. Alright, wait a minute. I gotta take in this pause. Look at medicine. He's over. As a, you want, all right, who else is over? Darby Allen is hella, hella over. That's he's still good and he stood there, he sewed it in. I think I think that was the moment we realized, holy shit, I'm over. I'm over as fuck. <laughs> wow. He's sliding on his man. Um a lot of great skateboard spots, by the way. Yes. The uh, double stomp with the skateboard. It's fantastic. Using it as a weapon in general. Like it. Pretty pretty unique shit. And I'm here for it. Always. I gotta be honest, I hope it works out. Um what do we think about the pay-per-view so far with shaving up? I like the way it looks. I don't know if I love it. I think it's gonna fall a little I mean nobody that's a super fan's ever gonna admit it, but I think it's gonna fall a little flat because it's got too much build. Too much. Really? They put it 95 weeks away from when they started booking it. Jericho and Moxley. Jericho's lost some weight. He looks good. Jericho looks fantastic. Moxley can go through five to ten members and unofficial members of the inner circle. That's going to be a good match. We agree. Good match. Yeah, it'll be a good match. Won't be the best match by far. They'll call it the Jeff Jarrett bag of choice for Chris Jericho. Including the inner circle and some weapons and for cheating. And he'll pose it in one. Probably go over. Um, Just that gimmick. Also, my teenage for Jarrett. Um, uh, WCW at the end. Jared. Jared. Yeah. I love this hair, to be fair. I love this. <laughs> Chug, Chug, Chug. Choke on that. That's a that's a fucking great thing by the way. And great music. Yeah. Um You've got the Bucks versus Omega and Page. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, it'd be a pretty good match. Hopefully it's gonna hinge on how that ending goes. Um You've got I'm gonna call him Goldust. Goldust versus Big Hurt. Jack Swagger and Goldust. That should be <sighs> interesting for Hager's debut. Um I don't understand the constant push for Dustin. Dustin who? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, uh, like he's old and <laughs> like you have all the whole point of AEW from my initial understanding when it launched was the future of wrestling. The stars that never got a chance or didn't get an adequate chance. Okay. Hager would fall under the adequate chance. Right. Yes. Some of you would argue against that, but still. I know you should. Um, Dustin's been around 47 years. How much have I seen on Dustin? Yeah, he can still move, but he's great. What if Hayward goes over strong? Great. And it would mean so much more if it was a better member of the roster. Not Jesus. But he looks his Still height. Still a veteran. He looks his height. They look like they're evenly matched. Dustin's been relatively protecting the AEW. Yeah. So now when Hager beats him, he better fucking beat him. Uh, he loses, I might be dumb to shit probably. Because your whole uh, mission statement is a lie. Yeah. Lie to me. What if they both get up three matches? That's worse. Um, MJF and Cody. That's that me! That's going to be great. See? I think that's great. I don't know if that's going to be great. But here's the thing. You talk about build-up? It has to be great. It has to be fucking splendid. I don't know if it should be technically splendid or just impossibly violent. Oh, it's not going to be technically splendid at all. It's going to be... It should be violent. It's going to be a slobber knocker, barn burner. Like, it is going to be melee in the palace there. And, uh... It's going to be, you know, what MJF does. It's going to be a lot of cheap heat. Mm -hmm. A lot of dirty tactics, heel tactics. Uh... Throughout the match, and I think it's going to be a Wardlow implied finish of some sort. Okay. I assume Pac's not going to be on the show since Omega's busy. Mm. Unless they have some type of draw. Omega costs them the titles. Alright, let's not get too crazy now. I'm trying to run another card real quick. No, no, I'm going to go. I'm sorry. Pac, Pac costs them the titles. Okay, that works. Uh, but he doesn't fuck with the Bucks either, I would imagine. No. 
when he just with the team. Uh I assume we'll do Skyline and Big Swole and Nana Rose. Yeah. Which would be a really good match. I'm convinced. Not yeah, as they, they need a leader. Leader. They need a women's titles match on the show. And then I think they round it out with um, Darby versus Sammy. Yeah, that should probably be the Curtis Jerker match. Be fine. Darby and Sammy. Good match. That's the hype match. Curtis uh, Jerker is old term. But right now that first match is a, a hype match. Um, do we think there's a Dark Order thing? Because there's still Ooh, leading to I, an Exalted One storyline. Uh, some people put a picture of Raven sitting in the stands. If Raven is the Exalted One, could be very much over the Dark Order. Seriously? Did he, did he lose a lot of weight? Because he He's not wrestling because he's a better promo than Raven. And come on, who puts more work into the promo than Raven and his character consistently? He's not wrestling. Although I do appreciate having a creepy, pedophile looking white guy on camera now, it's not, not just in the vignettes. People don't know who you're talking about. You could be talking about a lot of people in this fucking roster. The, the Joint Dark Order guy. Yes, that guy. He is amazing. I kind of want to be Christopher Daniels still. But I gotta be honest, I'm taking Raven. Unless you got somebody better than mine. I don't. I don't. I have a lot of like, alright, kind of suggestions. <laughs> I don't really have a great suggestion. It could be too many different people, and that's why I'm a little annoyed. I, uh, I think we're at the level where it would be, though. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Whatever it is. It'd be a, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, I guess that works. Whatever. That one likes uh, Shauna versus Go Bigger. Maybe that's a dark match, so to speak. But that's it. Go Bigger should be on the card. She should be on the card. Some people are so over they should be on the card. As a matter of fact, going back to my reference, Christian did not have a match with that bad guy trip review, but he had a promo with that pay per view, as he fucking should have because he was so over. I guess. Or at least commentate during the triple threat match. Ooh, okay. Do that too. Because her just all like, uh, so what do you think? I don't know. I just uh, I just think that you got him in the head and that's going to dislocate the just this. <laughs> what? You said her leg hurts. What do you think about that? Um, oh, I don't have That's not my field of expertise. No, actually, but she said it was just such bland deliverance. So just much. like, yeah, no, it's, uh, I think, her mandible does. <laughs> this is what it is. Um, plug? Um, SP3 holds his true heel heat. Uh, I have no idea what number we're up to. Probably like a thousand at this point. Um, a bunch of stuff. It's a whole channel worth of stuff. Check uh, out True Heel Heat yeah. 1000. Post your comments, however, down below. He's like, got a channel too. Share and subscribe. I'm on it. <laughs>